major change in one of Southwest Indiana's major employers. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Shelley Kirk. I'm Brandon Bartlett. Brad is off tonight. Alcoa is selling part of its Warwick County plant. The company announced its plans to sell its rolling mill to Kaiser Aluminum. In tonight's top story, Eyewitness News Mike Pickett is live in Warwick County with details. Mike? Yeah, right now, uh, Alcoa is the only company occupying this complex here, here in Warwick County. But next year, there could be two companies occupying this uh, facility. Uh, or they'll be sharing the same facility in, in a deal involving hundreds of millions of dollars and hundreds of jobs. $670 million. That's how much Alcoa is selling its rolling mill to California-based Kaiser Aluminum for. We've been very impressed with the safe hard-working, winning attitude of the employees at the Warwick facility, and we believe the two organizations will blend well together. Nearly 1,200 Alcoa workers who work in the rolling mill will continue to work there, but they will become Kaiser employees once the deal is finalized. As part of the $670 million deal, Kaiser will take on $83 million in post-retirement worker benefits. Alcoa keeps the smelter and power plant, plus the 660 workers at those parts of the operations. One of the one of the great things about the people here at Warwick Operations is they are very resilient to change. Uh, you know, this this location has been through a great deal of change over the years, and uh, I fully expect us to uh, come with the most successful outcome. Alcoa President and CEO Roy Harvey says the deal allows the company to focus on its core markets and make additional money. The company will also have a metal supply deal with Kaiser once the agreement is finalized early next year. During that time of transition, we will continue to operate as one Alcoa, and we will do everything within our power, both Evan and I, to ensure that this is a successful transition uh, to set up both companies for success. Uh, we also reached out to officials with the United Steelworkers Local 104 who have hundreds of members who are currently work at Alcoa. And now they, they told us earlier that they wanted to uh, study the plan more before commenting any further on it. Live in Warwick County, Mike Pickett, Eyewitness News.